Hey you guys, so here today we are looking at this, which is a shoebox. But it is a shoebox full of action figures. Um, I did a video a while ago about the Action Force figures, and this is a box that they came out of. Um, I have my own collection, but this is, this is like I said, I paid six quid for the box. There's all sorts in here. There's Action Force, and yes, there is some G.I. Joes, for those of you that are going to swear and call me nasty names for liking G.I. Joe, but... Yeah. So yeah, let's have a look at who we've got in here. So, first of all, we have this little guy, which is the SAS guy, whose name I cannot remember now. He does have, you just see, he's still got the letters SAS on his arm there. This came originally without that. They put this on when they made them into Action Force, SAS, Z Force, Q Force, and Space Force. So yeah, that is a, and as a kid, it always used to annoy me because he never held the gun properly, look. So my one has blue tack on it to hold that steady like that because that was the kind of kid I am. Nowadays I'd probably super glue it, but there we go. So yeah, nice little figure. Like I say they were made originally as just an SAS guy and the others are soldiers, but they made them into uh, the characters. I just wish I could remember what it was called. I should have Googled it really, shouldn't I? Never mind. I'm sure you'll all tell me in the comments underneath. So, that's the SAS guy. Um, Space Force. So this is back in the days of the old Star Wars figures when we had uh, arms up, arms down, legs up, legs down. And that was it. That was manoeuvrability. That was posability. Look at that. He can... He can point. He can point. He can point and stand on one leg. Yeah. But this is the Space Force Trooper. And see, there's the... I think it used to have, it should have a gun that came out of there on like a wire into the hand. But like I say, you can see the hand's very straight, so it looked a bit odd. But, yep, Space Force Trooper. Um, what else we got in here? Okay, there we have a Red Skull. That's not, not Red Skull. Red Trooper, whatever they're called. Can't remember it. Yeah. With his machine gun. Red Shadow, that's it. Thank you for you at the back there. You see, I start doing these videos and I get so excited I forget things. Red Shadows. I thought that was a really cool design because that really is just... It's just the body off of that. Just with a fancy head stuck on it. Which is a clever idea, really. It's, it's retooling, reusing... It even kind of still has the little German Eagle on there, but still. Grenades under there. So, yeah, that's the... Red Shadow. This is the German Trooper, which I think I did have his gun. I don't know. They kind of seem to have dropped a lot of their weapons and things while they've been here. Yes. Just some of these while I rummage. No. I guess the rifle's not here. There's that, but that's that's somebody else's gun. Anyway, yeah. So this is the German trooper, which is always strange because he's wearing green, and I don't, you know, green's not always the colour I think of with German soldiers. I think of grey. I remember Paris. The Germans wore grey. You wore blue. <laughs> that's a line from Casablanca. But yeah, I say that's the same figure as the other one. Um, then we have uh, let's have a thing. Baron Ironblood in his uniform. I think in some versions of it, it had black gloves and others it didn't. And the helmet kind of got cheaper as they went on. But I always thought it was really cool because all it is is really just a piece of like spongy foam stuff bent round into a helmet shape. It has got a bit of the old um, Ned Kelly look to it. But oh, I, I love these as a kid. Yeah. So, there we go. Um, what else we got? We've got a Z-Force soldier with his backpack on. I guess this had some meaning or use. you got to think it's probably 30-something years since I've actually played with these. I didn't have this one as a kid, so 
I don't quite remember what he looked like. But as you can see, he has the Z just about on his shoulder there. Yeah. Is that his backpack? I guess you'll tell me in the comments at the bottom. Yep. Um, we also have the... Well, it says Cobra on it. But I know that both sides had these. Um, whoever had this stuck the stickers on the wrong way because they've stuck... That one should be at the front and that one should be at the back, I think. But never mind. It does feel a little bit precarious because it falls apart as you're doing it. But... Ah, so that's what that is. There's extra arms for that. I saw them just now in the bottom of the box. So that goes in there. It goes in there. And the figure stands... Who can we do it do we? The Baron. So... Hmm. Yes, you pop them apart and you put the... Okay, not sure how that works, but because it's got that big spiky bit there at the back. So I guess that goes like that. And then his foot goes in and stands on it. Well, you get the idea anyway. That's the, <laughs> the armour. I guess that's in. That's probably just in there to keep it together when there's nobody stood in it, right? Yeah, that's what that's for. Duh. Because otherwise it will just fall apart. So we'll call that that hand. That and we'll pop it together. So it can be displayed like that. So that's why that's built in that way. Um, there is... Those two pieces, which are, I guess, other arms for it, because look, they match. So those are the other arms, which are pretty cool. Right, pop him over there. There we go. So who else we got in here? Um, we got another backpack. We got this guy who is SAS forces. Um, I guess that I think that was his gun, because it kind of fits in his hand. And he is, well, what is he? Because he's got like a respirator thing on his back. But then a tin helmet and a big knife. So, hmm. I know you're going to tell me at the bottom what I'm wrong and right about. And do it, please. Because I say, it's a long time since I've played with these figures. Yeah, that looks like a good gun for him. Yeah. So, another SAS one. Um, what else we got? I'll tell you what. Q Force, which was the underwater team, which I never mind they were called Q Force, because it should be A Force, because it's the aquatic team. Not O Force, because they go in the oceans. They've really got Q, but still. I'm sure somebody will tell me why. Um,. Yeah, this guy, obviously, they've all got the same heads in there. See that in there? And it used to annoy me with mine, because mine used to look like that. It used to look slightly that way, so I, I ended up getting a screwdriver and, like, tilting his head. It did have... Uh, I can't see one in the box. It did have a thing that you could pump air into it. It was like a hose and thing, and you pump air into it, and it'd sort of float and up and down. But I think that's missing out of this set. Still, Q-Force. Very nice. And next we have Space Force. He should have had, I think, a faceplate on there that folded down. And like a welding gun arm there. And backpack. And something on there, obviously. And maybe another hand. That's kind of more, more of a claw. The claw. Ooh. Still. I want me to do all the boxes, and like I say. Nothing in there, but the figure's in great nick, it's just like I said, missing the faceplate. So, that's that one. 
All right, we're getting. Tell you what, we'll do the. We'll do the GI Joe stuff last because then none of you get upset. That one, which is the scary space thing, which in the other video I mentioned what it was called, and I can't remember what it's called now. But it was quite a limited edition figure, I think, or mailing. It's kind of weird because look, he's got machine gun, what look like machine guns on the back of his leg. Hmm. Still, nice figure though. Uh, we also have SAS Pilot, which was the same. I had this as the um, just Pilot and it was a red outfit and he had like a little um, life vest which um, was a bit like Baron Iron Blood's helmet you know it was just a piece of um, foamy material uh, but mine the, the things that held it broke so mine used to be held together with an elastic band but yeah okay. pilot and mutant should have another thing on there and a, an antenna on the top. All that is, is again, it's that figure with some bits stuck on it to make it look a little different. Which, yeah. Still, kind of cool. I used to have, all right, I don't know if you know about this, but I used to have an audio tape um, adventure of Action Force. Um, I bought something, I, I, I live in the north, and I'd gone to... Blackpool and I went to a toy shop in the town down from it which was Cleveley's I think and I bought something in there it wasn't Action Force but they gave me this Action Force tape and it was a full cast production of uh, a story starring Action Force and it had Baron Iron Blood and everybody in it and I, I, I guess I still have the cassette somewhere but I, I used to love it but yeah that is the uh, Black Major. Yeah, you all thought I'd forgotten then, but no, Black Major. Which was just the military officer painted black. Right, um, now these next few, uh, yes, they're G.I. Joe. Oh, tell you what, we've got that. Whose is that? Because that's a jetpack. But it's red, so I'm taking it that it's one of the bad guys. Excuse me. Ugh. They're a bit dusty. So yeah. Not in there. And so, oh, hang on, we've got one. One last. Yeah, one last Action Force figure left. Which is the SAS Trooper. He used to come with a Thompson machine gun. I had one of these. I, yeah. <laughs> I used to, I, I used to spend hours with these guys. I see this on the side there, the same backpack that they all have. The, this arm always just felt like me it needed to have more of a bend in it there, just so that they held the guns better. But this was uh, the commando figure when Action Force first came out. That they painted black and put SAS on it and called it an SAS man. That was a little bit wearing his hat there, but still quite a cool figure. Um, now we have Zatan. He's the colour changing dude. I don't think his colour changing works much anymore. He has his backpack, but his mask is missing out of it. There used to be a mask in there. He also came with this sled. But, oh, somebody's put that ski on back to front. Yeah, so he used to sit on this. He should have shin pads on there as well. And that changes colour with heat. But the shin pads are missing. So he would sit on there and the steering thing's missing but yeah that's the idea he was in charge of the dreadnoughts i don't know if they used him in the action force figures or not or whether he was always um gi joe but i mean we called him action force for a while because when we got the cartoon series it was really weird because they'd go you know they'd all be talking with americans and then all of a sudden they'd go action force not G.I. Joe, so yeah. So um we have two um Cobra troopers. One with a gun, one without. Which I've got an army of these somewhere. 
There was a time when you could pick these up on car boots for next to nothing. And yeah, I, I built myself an army of them. Yeah. This was when they started having like the articulation in them. Which I, I kind of like. I know a lot of people are purists to the old school. And I, I, I you know, if that's what you like. Please don't swear in the comments underneath. It gets me into trouble. But yeah. Blood for the Baron and all that, yeah. But still, cool figures. Uh, we also have that, which is an Action Force boat. And, oh, there, there we go. That's one of the uh, Cobra Troopers. Not Cobra Troopers. Red Shadows. Rocket launchers, they have those as well. Um, okay, we have the paddle for that. Like I say, this was also used, I mean, you see it says Action Force on there, SA2846 and things like that on it. This was also used at ammo as uh, the SAS boat as well. So, yeah. 1983. Some people weren't even born in 1983. I was. And right in the bottom of the box we have, okay, another machine gun for the Cobra Trooper. This guy which is uh, Fisher Price, so I'm not really sure why he's in there. But he was the diver from the Fisher Price figures. Looks, the guy in there looks like the bloke out of Rocky. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's not part of that. He's the bloke that drove the hovercraft, which the name of him has also gone out of my head. Um, and we have oh, that which is the the thing that that folds up and goes into and that skid goes on the bottom and then he used to pretend to drag it like he was a homeless person yeah don't ask uh, finally in the bottom of here we have an ammo pack a bushman's hit which went on one of the um, soldiers, which isn't in this set. That which is off the bottom of um, the, uh, what's it, boat thing? I think never knew. I did a review of it somewhere, but that's off the bottom of it. Two Uzis, that's obviously the Space Uzi. Uzi 9mm. And that one, which is a regular Uzi 9mm, which does have... Looks like he's got blue tack on it. I wasn't the only one. And right at the bottom of here we have uh, a bit of a casualty. But we can fix these things with the right elastic bands and stuff. We have Destro. From when he was part of... I think he was the His Tank driver. But yeah. All the bits good. Somebody's tried to fix it with string which doesn't work. But yeah. Here you go. You have an idea of what it looked like. I always like this one because you've got that shiny. Get focus, focus, shiny head. Very nice. So that's it, really. Like I say, paid six quid for the box. I um, think I got quite a good deal. Yeah. So if you have enjoyed said video, what I would really like you to do is like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And helps me know what you guys want to see. I'm going to put all these back in here while I'm talking to you. Uh, 